Sergeant Robert Emmett O'Malley did more than fight for honor. In a place of great danger, he ignored danger. Wounded, he refused to consider his own safety. At the risk of his own life, he shielded other men's lives. Today, I will give him the highest medal his nation can offer. I can think of only one gift sufficient to honor men like this. We can assure this man, and we can assure every man who wears our uniform that their cause is a good cause, that the principles they stand for are sound principles, that the battle they are fighting deserves their bravery. Now, why did Robert O'Malley receive this award? Because on August 18, 1965, Robert O'Malley was leading his squad when the enemy began firing and pinned his men down. O'Malley ran across the open field to the enemy and attacked the Vietnams with his rifle and grenades, killing eight men on the enemy side. He then led his squad to another unit where he assisted several wounded Marines. He then led his squad under fire to a helicopter. O'Malley was wounded three times but continued to cover his squad in open field. Once all men were safely on the helicopter, he then joined them. He is the first living Marine to receive Medal of Honor for service in the Vietnam War. His childhood friend, Thomas Newman, also received this award for putting others before himself. He dragged wounded men under fire to safety, but unfortunately died in Vietnam in 1969.